everyone, you know in the past 20 years, people have discovered many new technologies that will shape the future of our world. Whether it's super fast ways to get around or inventions that make the world a much more sustainable place, these technologies will revolutionize the way we live, work and get around. So let's take a look at 15 incredible new emerging technologies. Number 15. Sticker Solar Panels all right, now generally speaking, solar panels can be a bit unwieldy. After all, to produce a lot of energy, you need to set up solar panels on the roof. And to do this usually consists of an involved process where big panels have to be strapped on using racking, anchors, or ballast. However, sticker solar panels don't have those same constraints. They come in at about half the weight of solar panels, and they're just four millimeters thick. They have an adhesive that allows them to be stuck on to practically every type of roof. Despite this, they are just as, if not more, effective than regular solar panels. And given the fact they've recently received about $20 billion from the EU's Innovation Fund, there is a genuine hope that this technology will be able to explode onto the clean energy scene. Number 14. 6G While many internet users are just starting to get their heads around 5G, very soon 6G networks may be all the rage. For those of you who don't know, wireless communication systems use radio frequencies in order to carry information through the air. And since existing 5G networks use higher radio frequencies than 4G networks, they create a signal that's less cluttered and therefore generate faster internet that can handle more devices at any one time. In essence, 6G is just the successor to 5G, as by using higher frequencies than the 5G networks, they'll be able to provide substantially higher capacity and much lower latency. And this is important because it will provide internet that's about 100 times faster than 5G. At the current moment, most experts believe that 6G internet will launch commercially by the year 2030. And I hope that this improvement comes around sooner rather than later. Number 13. Disease-Fighting Robots when fighting diseases like cancer, treatment efforts are extremely painful. After all, because procedures like chemotherapy can't distinguish between healthy and unhealthy cells, pain and side effects like hair loss come as a result. However, researchers from Arizona State University have been able to create drug-carrying nanorobots that can treat patients in a far more comfortable way. You see, the nanorobots are made from sheets of DNA rolled into tubes containing a blood clotting drug. On the outside, the researchers placed a small DNA molecule that binds with a protein found only in tumors. And so when the robot reaches the tumor, this molecule quickly attaches itself to the protein, triggering the DNA tube to unroll and release the drug. The researchers further found that the robots would only attack tumor cells, and that the patients who had these robots experienced no side effects. As such, so long as this type of research continues, it's more than likely that nanorobots could totally change the healthcare game. Number 12. Quantum Computing While modern supercomputers are able to make calculations incredibly quickly, the next generation of computers that might be able to outpace them are quantum computers. Now, in essence, quantum computers are machines that uses the laws of quantum mechanics to solve problems. More specifically, while classic computers make use of bits, quantum computers make use of qubits. And while their function is similar, they differ in ability. For example, while 8 bits is enough for a computer to represent any number between 0 and 255, 8 qubits is enough for a quantum computer to represent every number between 2 and 255 at the same time. As a result, they're able to work far more efficiently, and to date, companies such as Google, IBM, and Microsoft have been at the forefront of this technology. In terms of real-world applications, quantum computers are extremely important because they can do everything from making weather prediction models nearly perfect to helping investors perfectly time the market. So, whoever can make the world's most powerful quantum computers may just be able to become unimaginably wealthy. Number 11. The Metaverse when it comes to the future of digital technology, one of the most contentious new pieces of technology is the metaverse. While it does not have a clear definition due to the fact that it's constantly in evolution, the best way to describe it would be to call it a cyberspace, as it's essentially an addition to the internet that allows users to access virtual worlds, buy virtual property, use virtual currencies, and do things they would otherwise be unable to do in the real world. While the possibilities with the metaverse are endless, the idea is that it would allow people to own and use digital assets across different platforms, revolutionizing the way we work, play, and invest our money. It is as a result of this potential that companies such as Facebook have literally renamed themselves, as they now go by the name Meta in order to stress their commitment to the metaverse, while other ventures such as Roblox and Microsoft are also carving out their slice of the pie. However, only time will tell whether or not the metaverse will be a success or a flop. Number 10. Cryptocurrency in our increasingly digital world, some see cryptocurrency as something that will revolutionize the world economy. However, there are many others that see it as something that will almost certainly flop. 
In essence, a cryptocurrency is a currency in which transactions are verified and records maintained by a decentralized system using cryptography rather than by a centralized authority such as a central bank or federal institution. The end result is that cryptocurrencies can be mined using computers and are almost completely out of the control of large institutions. And as a result, they could democratize world finance and make it harder for elites to control the market. However, as cool as cryptocurrencies are, the reality is that they just may never become the tool that early proponents hoped they would be. This is because their crazy fluctuations in value make it hard for them to be a real currency, which would require a far more stable and predictable value for retailers to accept them en masse. There's also an issue that their digital nature has no physical presence, meaning they can't be traded or exchanged in the physical world. As a result, cryptocurrencies have more or less begun to decline in value as a whole. And while they may be the technology of the future, they may also end up being a relic of the past. Number 9. The Blockchain While cryptocurrencies and the metaverse are both kind of pretty cool, the technology that truly links them together is the blockchain. In essence, the blockchain is a distributed database, and it works as follows. First, a transaction, let's say a transfer of a Bitcoin, is sent to several computers. These computers solve an equation to verify the transaction, and once confirmed to be legitimate, they cluster the data into blocks. These blocks are then chained together to create a transaction history, and for their work, the verifying computers are awarded with cryptocurrency. The end result is a translation network that's fully supported by the users of that network in a heavily encrypted and verifiable way, making it nearly impossible for these transactions to be hacked. As a result, many see the blockchain as the future of digital transactions, but given the fall in popularity of cryptocurrencies and digital arts such as NFTs in recent months, there's a very real chance that the blockchain will fail to reach its full potential. However, if it does, it could make everything from online activities to daily transactions very different than it is now. Number 8. Nuclear Fusion While nuclear fusion may sound scary and post-apocalyptic, it may in fact be our best shot at creating a limitless and environmentally friendly energy supply. By definition, nuclear fusion is the process of creating the nucleus of an atom by combining two smaller nuclei into one. And while this doesn't seem too crazy, the reality is that this could really be a big deal. This is because the nuclei typically stay in their respective atoms, and so when they're collided together at extremely fast speeds in extremely hot conditions, they can overcome the forces that keep them apart and fuse into one particle, releasing a massive amount of heat energy in the process. While this has been achieved, the challenge is now to create a nuclear fusion reaction that gives out more energy than it takes to create, and this is vital because if possible, it would allow humans to create an unlimited supply of energy that produces no carbon emissions and very small amounts of nuclear waste. To date, the technology has slowly been inching forward, with recent experiments seeming to indicate that this positive net energy transfer is entirely possible. However, only time will tell whether or not nuclear fusion technology will get off the ground quickly enough to be a success. Number 7. Emotion Spotting Algorithms While we all know that algorithms are already smart enough to be able to creepily send you advertisements on things you've said out loud or have really wanted, in recent years, algorithms have begun to develop to the point that they're now beginning to be able to pinpoint human emotions. This can either be utopian or dystopian, depending on how you look at it. But the basic gist is that these algorithms make use of a natural language processing and machine learning emotion detection to figure out whether the prevailing sentiment of a piece of text is positive, negative, or neutral. This can be done by collecting data on everything from reviews written for a local restaurant to searches put into Google. And once this sentiment is understood, the software will determine what exactly went wrong. From there, the AI will evaluate the strength of the emotions on a scale of negative 10 to 10, and then market the best advertisements to suit your mood. This technology has now been expanded to include facial and voice recognition, and while exactly where and how it's used is not entirely clear, it's believed that in the next 10 years, these technologies will be the norm. And while most will certainly be an invasion of privacy, at the very least, these algorithms will allow certain companies to make boatloads of money. Number 6. Commercial Space Flight while many people vacation to tropical destinations in the Caribbean, vibrant cities in Asia, or historic centers in Europe, soon it may be possible for middle-class people in Western countries to blast off into space. While there are several projects that are currently ongoing to find out how to send as many people to space as possible for a reasonable price, they can generally be split into two main categories, space flights and space vacations. Space flights are set to be the cheaper of the two, and Virgin Galactic is one of the leaders in this field. 
While their first flight came back in 2021, they are expected to field three more in 2023, as they've sold a total of 700 tickets at 450 grand a pop. The plan is for their rockets to go into orbit and then come back down to Earth, and in the future it's hoped that these flights will be done far more frequently and for as little as $50,000 a ticket. For bigger spenders, there may be also the option for space vacations. These would essentially be trips where people would go up into space and then stay at a space hotel. And of those in line to be built, the Axiom Station is perhaps the most incredible. Complete with a research and manufacturing facility and a crew habitat, and a large windowed module for viewing Earth, the hope is for this area to be a place where space tourists can relax in luxury, and by the late 2020s or early 2030s, this may very well be the case. Number 5. Immortality while this may sound absolutely bonkers, there is a fair chance that a host of new technologies will develop to the point that human beings will be able to pay to become immortal. And while there are a plethora of technologies out there, there are three in particular that are truly innovative. The first of these is cryotherapy. In essence, those undergoing the treatment will sit in a cryo sauna for a three minute bath in liquid nitrogen. This liquid nitrogen is as low as negative 100 degrees Celsius, and the idea is that it can destroy tumors or diseased tissues, which should in turn accelerate the metabolism, strengthen the immune system, and slow tissue aging. Another technology that's perhaps even more crazy is available at a place called the Hokat Ozon China. Located in the Chinese city of Guangzhou, it's filled with machines that blast carbon dioxide rich steam into a Turkish bath style cubicle to open the pores. And after doing this, they flood the chamber with ultraviolet light and ozone. Research has suggested that this treatment may have anti-aging properties, as it reduces free radicals in the cell mitochondria. Yet perhaps the coolest technology of them all is a health supplement known as Basis. This supplement contains a chemical called nicotinamide riboside, which is a form of vitamin B, and this converts to an enzyme called nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD+. NAD plus is important since it has a role in metabolism, cell aging, and protecting nerve cells. And since NAD plus levels diminish significantly over time, studies have shown that the drug causes older mice to look and act younger while reducing age-related diseases. And while no conclusive studies have been done on humans as of yet, a total of 21 trials are currently underway. Number 4. Powered Exoskeletons all right, I want one of these because at some point or another, chances are that you've dreamed of being a superhero. And while this was simply impossible in the past, there's an emerging technology that would allow just about anyone to be as strong as the Hulk or as fast as the Flash. Known as powered exoskeletons, these are essentially mobile machines that humans can wear over various parts of the body. They make use of features such as motors, levels, and hydraulics to enhance the use of one's own body parts, essentially turning regular human capabilities into superhuman abilities. For example, through the use of neurotransmitters and special muscle supports, there's a belief that an exoskeleton could make someone a perfect piano player that could go beyond the realms of normal human performance. Likewise, there's also a belief that a powered exoskeleton could make it so a human could run through a forest at 35 kilometers per hour without stopping for an entire day. Yet given that these exoskeletons are being funded by large corporations, it should come as little surprise that they're currently being developed for one purpose, work. For example, there's one being developed to allow nurses to stand up all day without getting tired, and another to allow those working in industrial settings to lift more weight than they could under normal circumstances. However, while these exoskeletons are pretty cool, they represent a major ethical problem. This is because these things are essentially being built so workers can work longer hours, and this could essentially lead to these workers becoming little more than machines that complete tasks for hours on end each day. Yet, despite the serious moral dilemma, development continues on these exoskeletons, and it's quite likely that they may just be the future of work. Number 3. Ocean Wave Electricity While wind and solar energy are great, they're all limited by the fact that the sun isn't always shining and the wind isn't always blowing. However, ocean wave electricity takes account of these issues by nature of the fact that waves never stop. Now, the basic premise of wave electricity is that it harnesses the motion of a wave in order to generate electricity. And while there are still many ways of doing this, after all, some wave energy systems use the power of swells, some of breaking waves, and others of pressure near the ocean floor, they all have the same goal of converting wave energy into electrical energy. Admittedly, there is one major obstacle in the way of widespread development, the lack of good locations. After all, while they technically can be built on any coastline, they need to be placed somewhere that has enough waves to make the generator profitable, while also not being so wavy that the generator would get damaged during a storm. 
Beyond viability, there are also concerns that these generators could damage marine environments. This is because if a wave is broken up to make electricity, it will not be quite as strong as it is when it comes to shore. And these smaller waves could lead to less mixing of nutrients with the water column, and therefore less nutrients going to the aquatic plants and animals that need them. However, as a whole, most scientists agree that wave electricity plants are a net benefit to society and the environment at large. As such, several computer models have been made to find the best possible places to put them, and many designs have been developed to try to negate the damaging effects of waves on wildlife, with one of the most innovative including the idea of placing them very far underwater and allowing coral reefs to grow on top of them, so that they are as eco-friendly as possible. In a world moving towards green energy, these machines will almost certainly see a wave of new development in the future. Number 2. Electric Charging Roads while electric cars have finally begun to gain some traction, one of the biggest challenges they face is the fact that they cannot quickly be filled up at a gas station. After all, while electric charging stations are becoming more common, there are many people who worry that they will run out of power and become stranded in the middle of nowhere. And that's without considering the fact that physically charging one at a station can take 15 to 25 minutes, which for many people with a busy schedule is far too long. However, one piece of technology that may be able to dispel this worry is electric charging roads. In essence, the idea is that when a car drives over them, the road charges their car and then simply keeps track of the car in order to collect payment. First unveiled in Sweden by the company E-Road Arlanda, the first electric charging road is a two-kilometer stretch that uses a pair of electric rails to transfer energy from the road to an electric vehicle above it via a small mechanical arm. While it supposedly works quite well, the road has to physically link up to vehicles and cost it an insanely high $1.2 million to develop. And so if they are to become more mainstream, they'll have to be made more cost-effective and perhaps less physically invasive. In order to alleviate the second of these two problems, the Indiana Department of Transportation and Purdue University have announced plans to develop the world's first contactless and wireless charging stretch of road. In order to do so, they plan to use magnetizable concrete technology that's made by adding small particles of recycled ferrite into the mixture. This creates a magnetic field that can transmit power wirelessly to the vehicle, and when powered by electric transmitters, they work effectively as car chargers without actually having to connect the car with a physical arm. The end result is a piece of road that charges a car while it drives, and while the tech is certainly cool, its cost of between 1.1 million and 2.8 million per kilometer makes it as much, if not more expensive, than the E-Road Arlanda project. So unless the project picks up some seriously deep-pocketed investors, chances are that it will take a long time to become mainstream. Number 1. Maglev Lines while the basic technology surrounding maglev lines has been around ever since 1966, some countries in Southeast Asia have recently begun to take the technology to completely new heights. You see, the basic premise of a maglev line is that it uses two sets of magnets, with one set repelling and pushing the train up and off the track, while the other moves the elevated train ahead. This takes advantage of the lack of surface-to-surface -surface friction, so the train can move at incredibly fast speeds, while still being incredibly quiet and smooth. While this led to a successful high-speed train across North America, Europe, and Asia throughout the 1970s and 1980s, lack of funding caused progress to stall. And only three countries have maglev lines, with all of those in South Korea and Japan only being low-speed lines, while a line in Shanghai, China is considered to be the world's only high-speed maglev line. However, despite these disappointing stats, the idea of maglev lines has begun to resurface. This is because these lines produce zero carbon emissions, and since they run on electricity and can go extremely fast, they've been seen as the future of the rail industry. It's with this in mind that some future-thinking countries have begun to make plans to build them, and the highest profile line is set to be in Japan. Set to connect Tokyo to Nagoya by 2027 and Nagoya to Osaka by 2037, it will travel at speeds of up to 500 kilometers per hour, likely making it the fastest passenger train in the world. Due to its speed, it's estimated that it will be able to make the trip between Tokyo and Nagoya in less than an hour, which is pretty impressive given that it takes about an hour and 40 minutes right now. However, about 86% of the Tokyo-Nagoya line will be underground, which requires extensive tunnel construction, and this has caused some problems in certain parts of the line. This is because there are worries that the Shizuoka Prefecture's Oi River may leak into the train's tunnel, causing serious mechanical problems, while also severely lowering the river's water level. As a result, a central Japanese railway company has expressed concern that this may make the 2027 completion date near impossible to obtain, although only time will tell what will become of this project. I'll see you next time.